Well, howdy, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So I'll tell you what, man, if uh, hell had a kitchen that caught fire while roasting a turkey, that would be Texas today. It is hot, hot. I don't know how much I'm going to get done, but my project today is the chickens. I worried about them all last night because I heard the coyotes come up. They don't normally come up that fast, fast, but you know, two coyotes would dig underneath this fence in a heartbeat and snatch them chickens and get out of there before I could get out of bed. So uh, what I'm going to do today, the project today is to take some of this chicken wire and cut it out and put it down and put river rock on it and dirt so that you know the perimeter underneath is harder to dig so that's that's project one then uh as i get time right now they're roosting outside i'm going to build a roost box right here and so i need to shift everything over a little bit so that i can do that work pick it up so i can put underneath the uh the chicken wire I'm, I'm happy with that uh and then we'll go from there so let's start with that if i get the chicken wire down in the river rock i'll be happy Two hand trucks, maybe. That thing's pretty heavy once it's down. I'll tell you what, it's the panels are light, but all together, it's a couple hundred pounds. Literally every tire on this farm needs air. So I guess I'm gonna plug in my pancake air compressor and give uh, 25 tires air, including the hand truck that I need to move that chicken coop. Now, let me get that done. A project before a project. Well, 45 minutes, half the tires in this farm inflated. So I've got, <laughs> I've got other things to do. Let's get this chicken coop around because I can't, I can't, I would be so sad if the coyotes got in there and I didn't do my best. So I am not doing my best. But now that I have the fork truck, listen, I thought I could man up there with the two, two carts. I guess if I had two guys, I could. I, it's heavy. I mean, I'm going to have to use the fork truck. Uh, uh, tractor and kind of give it a little push I think I think I could get in it from this side and maybe get it we'll find out heavy let's find out together Well, I was able to get in there and man up on that, but wow, that is heavy. So I don't know if y'all will be able to do that. Uh, I was only off just a few inches. I knew that I wanted to use maybe that tree trunk to go up into the roost, but uh, I've decided against that. I'm going to do something else. Uh, make a front door that I could put down in the cage, uh, the chicken run, and then the uh, I've got an electric one for the... Uh, for the actual roost when I do that. It'll turn off and on at dusk. So let's go ahead and uh, figure out whatever the next phase, <laughs> whatever the next phase is. <laughs> all right, the next step will be to, to put chicken wire all the way around the bottom. By that I mean underneath so they can't dig. Not just a, a skirt, but un underneath it all. Back to the picking up problem. See, it's heavy.
All right, so now I'll just put that all the way around just like that. And then when the coyotes come or whatever comes and digs, you know, they'll be hitting that a little bit around the edge to keep the hens from digging too much there. I overtop this with river rocks and uh, clay. Put a little put a little thickness on it. You're not supposed to use uh, tin snips to cut wire because it'll cut little edges in it. But I don't buy good tin snips, and uh, I don't care. But for those of you who care, don't do this. Get a you know get a pair of pliers. I just use Harbor Freight tools and. Once I chew it up, I throw it away and do something else. Now I will fold this end over so the chickens don't end up stepping on it. and Because uh, they'll be inside and out. They'll roam around the outside kind of lost. You know how chickens do that all in a panic. So This is uh, not designed to hurt my chickens. I don't want that. Designed to keep out digging coyotes, or at least slow them down long enough I can grab some Texas justice off the wall and straighten out any problems. All right. Just fold them under to keep your chickens from having to step on the sharps. Let me just finish up the rest of those and then drop the thing down and I'll come back to you when I'm putting on the river rock and I'll go dig some clay out of that pond. It's beginning to dry up so I got a reason to dig some clay and put some clay down first then some river rock. The other day I lost my ass farming. I know, listen, a lot of people have lost their ass farming. It's easy to do. I thought I'd have to go to town and get in some ass from some of the guys uh, at the Apple Supply Company, but their asses are all old and flat. The nicest ass that I've seen is a gal over in Bastrop, which is about 60 miles away. But uh, fortunately I grabbed ass uh, by looking in the weeds and I found my ass there. And so I've, uh, you know, I lost ass and now I found ass. So I'm gonna take my ass here and I'm gonna move some dirt with my ass. So this came out of that uh, pond. So you know that it's just clay. Oh, Texas clay, Texas clay. Yeah. But that'll, that'll work itself down. Enough rain, enough chicken scratching. Enough hard work will happen. And I'll be able to work that out. But look at that clay. Isn't that something, boys and girls? Now that 
That'll slow a coyote down. That'll slow a coyote down. Give me a little time to rescue my chicken. Like I said, I said coyote, but you know, my experience has been it's dogs. Dogs are the big problem for chickens. And, uh, not even weasels or skunks or anything like that. Uh, I'm sure raccoons and whatnot would get in there and make a mess of your chickens. Every time I've lost a bunch of chickens and the funny thing about dogs is they know you're not home. They kind of learn your habits. And then one day you go into town, while you're gone, the neighbor dogs come down and kill all your chickens. And that's the truth. It is just too hot for this kind of work. Earth work is the hardest, everybody. Doing stuff with ground. This clay, not even ground. That's clay clay. But once that gets packed down on there and uh, get some river rocks on there, uh, I know for a fact nobody's digging through it. All right. That yeah, looks okay. I might come back in with a packer and pack it all down. I don't know. So that will satisfy me for tonight. I'll, uh, I'll let my chickens scratch that flat, and they will over a course of a couple of days. I'll throw feed in there, and they'll, they'll scratch it flat, save me the, the rake work. Work harder, not smarter, right? So, and then you can see a river rock mixed in there. That, that'll slow down a dog from digging. And uh, as long as I don't have that gate wide open, my chicken should be protected so feels better feels better already even though I don't have the roost built yet but I'll, I'll get to that uh, later today I'm gonna go in and get a bite to eat cool down a little bit I'm overheated 95 it said that's pretty hot 